Thank you everyone for attending our webinar. Um, as Ashley mentioned, we're going to talk about higher education, Meridian and project management systems. I'm Jennifer Sample. I'm the technical solutions consultant here at Hagerman, specializing in higher education and Meridian. Brief agenda. Uh, we're going to do an overview of Hagerman and Company and Accruent, an overview of Meridian products, an overview of leveraging the project information from a project management system, how we retrieve documents from a project management system. I'll show you an example of how um, we accomplish that and what it looks like, and then we'll have Q&A. Hagerman and Company and Accruent, a brief overview here. Um, we've been in business for 36 years and counting. It's been under constant ownership and management, has not transferred hands. We have offices all across the country, coast to coast. We have 26 years of experience in data and document management. We've done over 1,200 successful customer projects, and that number keeps growing, which is awesome. And we offer multiple solutions and systems depending on the needs of our customers. Accruent is the vendor that, may, <clears throat> that distributes Meridian. We're the reseller. Um, they have many products that cover a lot of facilities, operations and maintenance, scheduling, um, document management, um, and, and things like that. We are their business partner. We have many, many higher ed customers. Here's just the sampling of some of them. The list keeps growing, which again is great. Um, if you have questions or need some, some references about Meridian, feel free to reach out to um, people you may know at these institutions. Meridian Basics, um, just to cover what Meridian is quickly. Uh, the basic features of Meridian itself is that it's a secure document vault. Um, you check things in and check things out. Um, they live in the repository. There is a revisioning history captured when someone checks out a document, makes changes and checks it back into the system. There's integration with CAD and some other applications so that you can save right from those uh, programs. It, it can manage all file types um, so that you don't have to have them in multiple places. There's a very robust search engine that is um, utilized in Meridians based on the metadata properties, so you can search on a, a wide variety of things. There's viewing and redlining capability, so there's some um, built-in functionality for uh, light collaboration and redlining within the Meridian system itself. There's a fully customizable workflow with some email notifications added in there. There's a couple different layers of web access. There's web access for the, for the power user themselves. And then there's the Explorer client, which is the search view print, as well as mobile. There's system integration capabilities with CMMS systems, project management systems, which we'll talk about today. Um, and it has multi-site capabilities. So if you have um, the need to have your users spread over um, different locations, different campuses, it can do that as well. The Meridian Enterprise Solution um, is installed and it includes Meridian Portal, which is a collaboration web-based tool. Meridian Explorer, which is the search view print tool for um, consumers of documents. Meridian Power, which is where you contribute documents and edit. Um, that's the primary product we're going to talk about today. And Meridian Mobile, which is in itself the mobile version of Explorer, where um, your folks in the field can easily access documents from mechanical rooms or anywhere on site. Meridian Power is where you'll see the, the use of integration with project management systems. <clears throat> Hagerman also has what we call IntelliModules, which enhance the performance of Meridian. Um, in certain situations, you may need these. Um, first, we have IntelliWizards. There's two core modules, I should mention, um, IntelliWizards and IntelliPort that work um, together and have to be together in there. IntelliSync is its own piece, but IntelliWizards really help streamline the import um, and the searching of the metadata properties and quality 
assurance on those metadata properties so that people aren't just typing in random things into the metadata property fields. <clears throat> IntelliSync is a tool um, that can work with, with or without IntelliMod, the other IntelliModules, IntelliWizards. Um, it takes the form of synchronizing metadata properties on documents that have changed in the SQL support database table. So um, we'll touch on that a, a little bit when we talk about project information um, further on in the webinar. Inteleport is the bulk import tool that works um, exclusively with IntelliWizards. Uh, it validates metadata properties on import, so that's a pretty important key function for most of our customers. And IntelliEmail is another piece of our product that works with IntelliWizards um, and adds a little more robustness to release notifications and workflow notifications. On to the, the meat of the presentation, what everybody came here for. Leveraging project information is the first piece of the project management system integrations with Meridian. First off, what is project information? Project information is the basics. It's the project number, the project description title, uh, the project manager, location data, which includes you know, the site, um, the building and the floor information that the project is occurring on. And then it can also include the status and the phase of the project. Um, two key fields we use that, that never really change are the project number and maybe the project start date or the creation date in the project management system. Why do you wanna leverage this project information? It's really important to have a single source of truth for information. By integrating with different systems, including project management systems, we leverage the single source of truth for the information. So if the system of record is the project management system, we try to leverage that exactly. There's less human error that way. Someone doesn't have to re-enter the project information into Meridian um, and maybe flub a couple numbers and back um, Nobody ever does that, right? Like messes up something or spells something wrong. When we leverage the project information from the project management system, we can perform automatic updates of the data so that when the, say the project manager might change on a project, it, it will automatically update the SQL support database. Then we can also synchronize that data um, in addition to automatic updates with the documents that are already um, a part of that project number. So if the project manager changes, those documents can be updated with the new project information um, or the phase. The phase is a common change. It goes from design to construction. Um, that update can happen a lot easier and all the documents can be updated at the same time. So how do we accomplish this? Well, from a cloud system, if your project management system is in the cloud, um, we need to somehow generate a report of the project information out of that system. Um, it needs to come from the project management system itself. That is not something that we at Hagerman um, generate. We can help generate it, but it has to come from that source. It, and then from that, that export, we pull the relevant information into our own Meridian SQL support database in the format we need it to be in. If you're coming from, a, from an on-premise system, we use the SQL Server linked feature and it reads the source data right from there. And then we schedule a SQL agent job to load it into our Meridian SQL support database. The other piece of the project management integration is document retrieval um, from a cloud-based system. And we can do an on-prem system as well. It just takes a little bit more um, investigation and I'll go into that in a moment. So why would you even wanna use Meridian for document management in conjunction with your project management system? Because you could upload documents into the PM system. Well, archives. Project management systems really aren't the best place to find archival information unless you have a key piece of information such as the project number. 
Um, sometimes it's really hard to find the latest and greatest, um, maybe a warranty on a project that has been closed for a couple months because the, the system just isn't easy to use that way. So Meridian provides this archivable system that can also be searched on all of the metadata properties that are on those documents, not just the project number. It creates a single point of truth for those archival documents, um, similar to a source uh, for project information. This can be your end all be all of where the documents actually live um, after completion of a project. We can set it up for automatic document retrieval uh, with, within Meridian so that there is no manual process um, of taking it from the project management system, downloading it to your desktop, then putting in Meridian. We can set it up to do, be automatic, which is what we'll talk about in a moment. And accessibility. Not everyone has access or the need to access the project management system. Um, your, for example, operations and maintenance personnel in the field, they're not gonna use that project management system to find documents when they need to repair something or replace something. They can use Meridian and use those exp Explorer or mobile tools to easily find documents based on the building number, the type of equipment, um, the classification of the document. It's a lot easier to access, access those documents from anywhere on campus using Meridian. So how do we pull those documents from your project management system into Meridian? Very simply, basic um, conversation. We use the REST API that's available from most cloud uh, platforms, and that's usually that is provided by the project management system. It is not something we create. We need that from that other system. Then we write a .NET program that retrieves the document streams. It can retrieve new documents. It can retrieve. Um, the last version of a document, and it can also create revisions of existing documents if that's how you're going to use the system. You can schedule this task um, so it runs on a frequency that makes sense for your organization. Some people do every day. Some might do once a week if they're doing just closeout information. Um, you can schedule it to be all active projects um, or trigger at close out. When you say the project is substantially complete or closed, it can pull that project information only if you would like to set it up that way. It also pulls metadata properties from the project management system. That system, the format of that system, we investigate and we just, we work through what's what you want in Meridian, what you have in the project management system, and how are we going to get them to marry up. This is required to happen because we have required properties in Meridian that must be populated when you pull these documents in. So the latest and greatest example we have is the University of Colorado at Boulder. They've been using Meridian for many, many years and have de has decided recently to go to a project management system called Unifier, which is Oracle. And they wanted to make sure that they kept Meridian as their point of truth for documentation, their archive, their um, still where you go to find the latest and greatest info. <clears throat> so we were fortunate enough to work together with the implementer of their, of their system of Unifier um, and get everything aligned. A lot of people won't be as fortunate. You might already have a project management system um, and you wanna implement Meridian. We can work with that too. We can also, if you have Meridian, have project management and they're not separate silos, we can work with you to make them um, talk to each other and connect in these ways. So, the project information from Unifier was fairly straightforward. Um, we pulled, this is the report that comes out of Unifier with the project information. And as I stated that they implemented Unifier in a way that almost mimicked what was already required in Meridian. We then take that table and feed it into our SQL um, support table in a format that we need for Meridian. Um, so you can see that a lot of the fields are the same. And again, 
um, we were lucky enough to work together on this. This is critical to put into the SQL table because some documents might be put right into Meridian and not part of the unifier um, integration. Um, and if you don't want to pull documents automatically, you need to tell what's where it's coming from. So in their case, they have a project source um, in their wizard and they can pick unifier. They also have other choices throughout the years of, of what kind of project number it was and what system they were using. And then they pull, they select the unifier project from the SQL table that you see above. Pretty straightforward. Getting documents out of unifier and into Meridian, um, this is what it looks like in unifier. So they have their project um, dashboard here on the side and they have a document manager. This is where all of those documents live um, when they are part of that project and they might be live or they might be static, doesn't matter. This, this side over here is their folder structure for those documents and we were able to mimic the classification and subclass in their Meridian vault to match the folder structure so that it would set those metadata properties. There's also other properties that we were able to incorporate with um, that configuration team that we needed in Meridian um, per their wizard configurations. So it also pulls those pieces of information when it um, brings it into to Meridian. So what does that look like in Meridian? Um, this is a navigation view and you can see how the, the document comes from Meridian and it goes right in, this, in the structure it needs to be in and it, it has the automatic file naming that our IntelliWizards generate based on your needs. The properties all come in um, from Unifier. So when you look at the property pages, you'll see that they're all filled in the way that they're supposed to based on your business process and configuration in Meridian. It pulls that project information um, from that uh, information from the document and it validates it against the project table that we talked about before. So that's all in there. The location data comes along with the project info. And if you look at the history tab of your property page, you will see that it shows that it was brought in by the unifier integration. And if there's any revisions subsequent that come in, um, it will also update that DM, that metadata history box at the bottom. University of Colorado Boulder has this set up to run nightly so that any new or revised documents in unifier will be updated in Meridian at that time. This allows um, for those user non-users of the project management system to still see the documents that are that are in the, do the, the documents area of Unifier. Um, we'll now go to the questions and answer period. So as a, as a general overview, we can leverage project information and we can have an automatic document download into Meridian from your project management system. Um, if anybody has any other questions, please let us know. Oh, Derek, are there some project management systems that are better than others? That would be a question um, for others that have project management systems. Of course there are, but they, they need to meet your business needs. One that might be great for University of Colorado Boulder might not be great for your implementation can't really answer that question. Um, please discuss the approach toward integration methodology. I'm assuming um, you want to talk about how we scope the project and, and decide how to make this work. Um, we meet with the, the customer and we met with the University of Colorado Boulder and as I mentioned, we were fortunate to have their um, project management system team also on the phone uh, whenever we had meetings to, to coordinate this. Um, in another case, someone already has a project management system in, implemented. We do a deep dive into how we can make this work. We take a look at the project management systems configuration, how they save the drawings, if there's any data, 
and we work through how we can make that work. It is a pretty intense scoping process um, because it will be different depending on what's available to us to use from the project management system. Hopefully that covered that. If using Maximo, can you link drawings in this vault to Maximo? Yes, you can have a, a query from Maximo um, to Meridian if you're sitting on a piece of equipment. Do I suggest Unifier? That would be an Ariane and Eric Sukup question. I'm sure they would suggest Unifier. Um, I am not sure, Derek. Uh, do you want to talk about the business case? Just a second. So, um, Ariane, I'm going to skip over that one. Is metadata press preset in and out of the box feature, or does someone need to go in and create all the metadata before moving documents? Um, I have a, in Meridian, when we configure your system, we go through what metadata properties you want to have in Meridian. When you use a project management system, it really depends on the system, whether you can customize that or not. Um, I believe in Unifier, you could customize quite a bit of it and make it match to Meridian. Um, can you indicate what systems you have integrated with in the past? We've um, project management specific, um, we've leveraged project management information um, from quite a few. A few of those is um, famous uh, for capital projects. Um, AIM capital projects, um, we're working on that one. We've, we've done some Bluebeam work. Um, as, as far as systems as a whole, uh, we've, we've, we're all, again, asset management systems we've worked with quite a bit. Um, if you want to know a little bit more, um, please reach out to us and we can show you some of how that works. So I'm going to jump back to Ariane and um, the business case for UCD because that is pretty important. Um, so Tiffany, is there a way that, or Ashley, I'm sorry, um, that we can unmute Ariane for a moment to kind of discuss that business case? Um, I'm not sure can. that that we can let me see i just don't want to get it wrong i i have the big overview um, but she was really really key in the implementation she was the point person yes unfortunately i'm not able to with the settings that we okay. have sorry well that's okay um so there's another question. In the system, can you lock down certain documents so they can only be seen by certain groups? In Meridian, yes. Um, it's handled with security. Uh, I'm pretty sure project management system might be the same way. I'm not an expert. But in Meridian, you can definitely um, set up those security um, procedures so you can save a variety of documents. We have, we have a couple customers that have HR information in Meridian, and of course that is locked down to only a certain group of people. All right. Yeah. I'm thankful that Ariane and Eric Sukup are both on this webinar. So Ariane mentioned really looking at document management as an important business need was the primary business case, along with ensuring that staff didn't have to manage in one system and file in another. If people would like to chat about how to select a project management system, um, there's a couple people on the line, Gary or Eric, um, that can talk about that with you if you want to somehow get their contact info. And, yeah. and Eric Sukup says in Unifier, you can limit access at a document level, similar to Meridian.
are there any other questions, whether it be the, the topic or Meridian in general? I am not seeing anything else come up in the chat. Um, give it a few more minutes. All right, I think. Um, We've covered the basics and we've got a lot of questions and hopefully we can answer more. Um, is it available as SAS? Um, are you, is it available as SAS? It just came through. Are you speaking about Meridian? Um, then yes. Okay, Ashley, I'll hand it back to you. Okay, well, thank you for the presentation. Thank you everyone for attending today. Um, a reminder that a survey will pop up as we close down and also you will receive a follow up email tomorrow, which will contain a link for the recording of the presentation today. Uh, again, thank you for attending. Have a great day, everybody.